emotional communication. The first point that we must remember is the fact that it is a man and a woman dancing together. So the connection, the natural connection between a man and a woman must be used to create a better possibility of communication. Therefore, if I approach this communication aspect and I think I am an object, Lorraine is an object without keeping in consideration the man and the woman, I create many problems for myself. The fact that we are man and woman, and if I use this in my favor, this already creates a better feel and connection between the two of us. Therefore, it is the same as shaking hands. If I shake a hand of another man, the touch, the energy I use to touch, the message I send is one type. If I shake the hand of a woman, naturally there's a different touch, there is a different feel, there is a different awareness, there is a different connection. Therefore, why should dancing be different? The same goes from the lady part. So as Lorraine touches me, she is a woman touching a man. So the natural instinct must be used in favor of good communication. Now, through this man-woman relationship, I can transmit many type of moods. The mood will relate to the step I wish to dance. And the mood will relate to the way I wish to dance the step. So do I wish the step to be romantic? Therefore, full, slow, and emotional. In that case, the touch will be a romantic touch, will be a sensuous touch. Therefore, the mood I must create in my body will also reflect my desire to create a romantic emotional step. If I want to create a powerful step, in that case, I would have a much greater aggression mood inside my body. That mood will transform the touch I have for Lorraine. That will change the mood in Lorraine's body too. So depending from the way I touch, Lorraine would already know what step will follow. It is not just about touching stronger or softer. Sorry. It is about the emotion that can travel through Lorraine, through Lorraine with the touch that I give. My dear? Yes, I'm very aware of not just hands, yeah. but the whole body. I can feel the foot pressure. I can feel an energy flow finishing in the fingertips. And depending on that mood is how I will react. If it's strong, I react strongly. If it's soft and subtle, I react softly and very, very subtly. You're right. Dancing with an Italian has educated me on this very much. Could they have a very red blood and their emotions change quite often. As Lorraine correctly mentioned, not regarding my mood change, but regarding the toe pressure from the feet. Generally, when I dance, when we dance, we have a very clear vision of dancing with two ladies for me and two men for Lorraine. For me, of course, one lady being Lorraine and the other lady being the floor. The same for Lorraine. One man being me, one man being the floor. Therefore, the way I want to touch Lorraine, the feel, the mood I want to give to Lorraine, I also feel from the floor. As we mentioned earlier, the nerve system is very important when we're discussing emotion, because it's a very good tool to use for information transfer 
this is the mechanical system I use to give this emotional information and to change this mood. So if I want to touch Lorraine in a more aggressive way because that is the approach to the step I will dance, I firstly need to touch the floor in that manner. If I do so, that aggression remains with, within my own system and doesn't attack Lorraine. So as long as I transfer the aggression from the foot through to my hands, this does not interfere with Lorraine in the wrong way. I'm sure you can appreciate that if I only put it in my hands, then it would become a physical push or pull to Lorraine, which will disturb her balance and so on. Now, the other aspect that we need to consider when we're discussing emotional communication is the awareness of each other in space. So if Lorraine and I were now standing here, but in a swimming pool, there would be my body, water, Lorraine's body. This would naturally create a connection between my body and Lorraine's body, which means that if my body would move, the water would wave and touch Lorraine. Now, of course, when we dance, there is no water around us, yeah. but there is energy around us. Mm -hmm. There is space around us. That space already creates a connection between us. And I must, with Lorraine, become aware of this space, which can also, tra also transmit information, also give information. So if I move, I can give information to Lorraine. I can change the mood. So without touching, without pushing physically, without having to attach myself to Lorraine or vice versa, we are already communicating. This relates also to the balance of the couple, the awareness of the center of the couple. So I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, that you start to understand that every aspect we are discussing is really, at the end, interrelated. Therefore, I am not waiting when I dance a competition or demonstration or where I simply practice. I do not wait to start communicating with my partner when I take position. My communication goes from before we walk on the floor. We are already communicating with each other. So that as we actually take position, we are already talking. I don't need now to tell Lorraine, I want you more to my right, I want you more to my left, I want you stronger, I want you softer. Lorraine will not need to guess because we are already communicating. To do so, of course, we need a lady that is prepared to respond and not just to follow. So as I'm taking position, Lorraine can already feel the mood that I have. I can, with that, change the tone that Lorraine will have once she comes in position with me. What I see many times is the boy standing very stiff, asking for the lady to come in, and then complaining because the lady is stiff. Of course, the message I have given before I take in position is to be stiff to my partner. And the two moods and tones must always equalize each other. So a stiff man 
with a very loose lady will not work together. Therefore, if I want Lorraine to come to me in a flexible way, in an emotional, open way, I have to do that first. Mm -hmm. By giving that message, that information, that feel, Lorraine will come to position with the correct mood that I wish her to have. Now we are communicating. Now, let's move to the third subject.